So I met with a, a friend of mine, Bob Bush. He was nice enough to sit down with me and I had so many questions about shafts. So he helped me develop a shaft years ago that we still use today. We modified it, we had steps in it. And there was uh, the two main shafts on tour. Everybody talked about them, everybody wanted them. And I wanted to figure out with Bob at True Temper, why? What's the deal here? So we went through all of the cycles and all of the stiffness and all of the flex and head weights from 33 inch and 35 inch and lighter head weights and heavier head weights when they're smaller and coming up with a performance sound and feel. Because when it's really stiff and boardy, you lose feel. When it's really weak, there used to be a pencil shaft that everybody liked, but today with head weights where they're at, the pencil shaft, you hit little slingers on putts over 20 feet. Those slingers, when you time it just right, they take off and uh, you get kind of hot shafts. So sound, feel, performance, and shafts, we take that very seriously. And we've changed over the years on shaft design, meaning um, head weights have gotten heavier. We've had to make things a little stiffer. How stiff is too stiff? Well, we have a recipe for a dynamic shaft that we live by. So shafts are very important. I think we've gotten really good of dialing things in for total performance, taking in consideration the shaft. It's so important. In some of our shafts, we have a 395 tip, which is a little bigger than our 355 tip. Why? Because I don't want a shaft down there looking so tiny that it looks like a weak noodle down there. I can go with a bigger diameter tip and still have the same flex, torque, and feel. So the look of a shaft, I don't like steps in a shaft. So I can take out the steps, have a smooth shaft, and still have uh, the flex points, the flex, and the torque. So it really comes down to design, feel, performance, and we take that very seriously because it really is kind of the engine to the golf club. Hope that answers questions on shafts. Thanks for listening. Take care.